I don't know everyone, my name is BJ Pascual. I'm a professional photographer for the past 15 years now and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are shooting Marina Summers fresh from her last two wins at RuPaul's Drag Race UK versus the world. We're going to be shooting her last two outfits in the episodes which she both won and also an extra outfit just for us. So I'm so excited for what's gonna happen today. Marie is the first drag queen in the Musing series. I'm so, so, so excited. Let's go. Oh, I don't know, Miss Marina Summer. I'm just having my afternoon tea. No, no. As a UK citizen. I know. <laughs> British na po siya. Kumusta? I don't know. Ito, maganda. Salamat naman for gracing us with your presence. Thank you for saying yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Alam mo, <laughs> game ko talaga to. Pag-musing. <laughs> talaga ba? Kasi, kung si Michelle D, sumali ng Miss Universe para mag-musing. Sumali ako ng Drag Race para mag-musing. <laughs> oh my God, Hindi nanonood na na. siya. Nanonood talaga. I love it. Hindi siya lang e-echos. I love it. Oh my God. God. Pero, nakakatawa kasi na-shoot ko na si Marina. We have shot together even before Drag Race. Even before Drag Race. Uh -oh, but I in this very studio. Yes, in this studio. So, very meaningful tong episode uh -oh. na to, di ba? <laughs> full, ano siya? Full 180? Correct. Uh, full 360? Ay, ay, ay. Ano ba yung full? 360 or 180? <laughs> full circle. Oh, first, pag full, full circle, circle, 360. Uh -oh. Sorry kasi Bumalik hindi ako masyadong magaling magtagalog. <laughs> Wait lang, itong look na to, yung, yung first na shoot natin. Yung bangos look. Oo. Oh, oh. Hindi ba maganda yung comment sa'yo doon? Bakit mo siya i-redemption? Okay. So, reason bakit ko siya gustong i-redemption is sa fashion photo review. Uh, Na-double boot ako. Talaga ba? Oo. For me, parang since yun yung first look to ever grace the runway of Drag Race Philippines, I wanted to make sure na, you know, elevated. Tsaka, ito talaga yung isa sa mga vision ko nung terno na uh -oh. yun. Wala lang akong budget nun. <laughs> Kaya may budget na ako, sabi ko, sige, all out natin. Ito yung pinaka-mabigat na look na dala ko doon. Pinaka-malaki. Isang box siya, siya lang yung laman. Oh my God, wow. And then we flew this in from Cebu pa mm -hmm. to Manila. Si Axel kayo yung gumawa nito. Mm -hmm. So very fulfilling the national costume. Miss Philippines Kare. fantasy, so, <laughs> Mabigat nga talaga mabigat. siya. As in. Imaginein mo, Para, para siyang... two hours akong nakatayo sa stage, kinikritik ako, muntikan pa akong mahimatay. No? Talaga? Kasi so, parang hindi ko 5 kilos to. Na dumbbell, charot. <laughs> Mabigat siya. Workout talaga Correct. siya. Correct. And also, for this runway, sobrang excited ako for this one. Kasi first time kong makita si Rupal na nag-reach out talaga siya. Kung malakpak siyang ganun. After ko mag-runway. So parang, oh my God! Ang galing-galing talaga ng drag ng Philippines. True and <laughs> nakaka proud, my nakaka -proud God. Talaga. As in, so excited, so excited to see. Actually, since sino shoot namin, hindi ko pa papa yung episode. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited to see you shine even more. Yes. And I'm so excited to shoot this look. So isa set up ko lang tung look okay. na to. I'll see you later. See you later. Be bye. Yes. Bye bye. <laughs> Yeah, of course, we have our fantastic set designer. You've seen her so many times in the channel. <laughs> bagong bagong face. Correct. <laughs> Fresh face. <laughs> Princess Barreto. Okay, so um, take us through your creative process. I actually, natin. natin creative process oh. natin pala. Yeah. Well, kasi, um, next start yung whole design naman or yung visual. Kasi pinadala mo sa akin yung mga damit, diba? Mm -mm. And then, dun natin binagay lahat ng um, set. So, yung unang pinadala is yung... Tawag, yung bangus na dress. In my head, uh -oh. tilapia. Uh -oh. <laughs> so, Mas mahal ang bangus sa tilapia. At, <laughs> mm -hmm. So, parang... <laughs> and then, uh, nung sinabi ni BJ sa amin yung um, si Miss Marina, ang ami is a shoot, tinignan ko na rin Instagram niya. Mm -hmm. And then, nakita ko nga na pasabog siya lagi. Mm -hmm. Pero, ang goal is... We want everything to be practical. Yeah. Yung mga yung set, lahat yung ilaw, so, and then we live everything. Cause yeah. Marina posts a lot of mga AI backdrops, parang graphic design. So we want it to be different. We wanted everything to be practical True. here already. Live siya lahat. Yes. So the challenge is uh, we want to make it look medyo um, fantasy. So may pagka. Medyo Tim Walker yeah. inside. So we want to wanna play with perspective din kasi. So yun yung pinaka main contention, especially with the first set we had, this cylinder. Cylinder. <laughs> uh -oh, kasi, which we've done before. Yeah. We always think kailangan malaki yung malaki. set. Kasi so, nagtatakot kami na baka it's too, too small. small. Uh -oh. But then, yung, when the lens is there na, 
Ma- mas malalaro mo pala yeah. siya if the space is small. Kasi yeah. diba, distortion nga. Yeah, because if you remember, we did a uh, set similar to this for Piolo. Yeah. But it was big. Yeah. So, nat- natuto na kami doon sa, sa shoot na yun. Actually, even we, with yung kay Anne before, yes. diba? Parang medyo malaki pa rin siya. So, you really, ito yung pinag-usapan talaga namin yung size, size. niya. That's basically the inspiration to make it um, practical. Pero AI yung vibe niya. Yes. Kaya distorted. And we also have two more layouts mamaya. And you're gonna see them later. Mamaya na natin chika. True. And now we have the brand new... Elz <laughs> 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 Mejia. Hi guys! Namiss niyo ba siya? Wow, namiss ko rin yung lumang ako. Charo! <laughs> Kaya nga natin today. Okay, so siyempre magpapasabog na naman tayo and I'm so happy that it's going to be the first drag queen dito sa Musings episode with Marina Summer. So, as big fans of the Drag Race franchise, uh, parang dapat lang talaga gawin namin to. Yeah. And basically, kasi very pop star naman yung approach ni Marina. So, even the set designs and how we're going to shoot her, parang may pagka-music video. So parang different kind of setups. Na parang from the first layout, na very dramatic, na underwater, uh, underwater feels, ganyan. Mm-hmm. Tapos yung pangalawa, in a way, campy, editorial, but ayun, may karaoke feels, na parang Pinoy, na may pagka-Japanese haraju. Parang nasa KTV, ganyan. Correct, ganyan na pala, KTV chic. Yes. <laughs> Tapos yung pangatlo, nasa fashion editorial, yeah. high fashion girl. Mm-hmm. Yun. Basically, that's it. Yes, you are just to make parang iconic Marina images. Kasi yes. parang I think iconic tung mga next few looks na gagawin niya sa Drag Race. Kaya exactly. Ayun, to celebrate her wins and the wins of the Filipino. Filipino. <laughs> Tama yun sa sabi ko. Okay, na yun tigil na. Thank you. <laughs> Super surprised ako kasi whenever I wear that outfit, it just feels so ma- parang majestic eh. But when you see it in, in, in an environment na talaga na parang, okay, this is where it's supposed to be seen, not on stage. Parang buong-buo yung fantasy. So I'm really, really, really excited. May mas igaganda pa pala yung look. <laughs> Ito yung kulang sa look actually. Yung environment where it's supposed to be seen. So ang saya ko. As in, di ba normally kapag nag-shoot yung mga bakla, may gay gas. Sa amin, gay tili. Ay! Ah! Girl! Pagka nag-high pitch na yung mga bakla, ibig sabihin, we got it. <laughs> And I'm so happy that we got that on the first day out. So, halatang mga bakla ang gumawa. <laughs> Very that. Ang ganda. Oh my God. Hindi madedenay. Pag ganun mo, ay bakla ko mo. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, today, medyo busy yung studio today. There's three studios here, and lahat ng studio, nito lahat ng favorites natin sa channel. And nito na silang PD All Stars! Production Design All Stars. Ito yung pinaka basic PD dito, so wala kayo mag-book today. Nito sila True. lahat. True! <laughs> Masasign po lahat. Nito sila lahat. So, that's all in the hand. So, 
na natin lahat. So, wala, walang may ibang shoot today na maganda. Eh, may... So yun, kanina nga, we briefly talked about how you start and our first shoot together. Hindi ka pa naka-drag nun eh. Mm -hmm. So how did you start and how did you begin your drag career? Honestly, ano siya eh, parang it's something na hindi ko talaga in-expect na gagawin ko talaga ever, ever, ever. But I had an idea when I was growing up. I mean, wala kasi akong concept ng drag. Siyempre sa probinsya ako nung maka eh. Mm. Uh, so nabit this guy, northern part of the Philippines. So, pero ang concept ko ng glamorous performances ay Lady Gaga, mm. Beyonce. Kasi lumaki, lumaki ako sa time na sobrang lala ng mga pop, MTVs, music videos. Correct, nung mga time na yun. Oo. Oh, oh. Yung lahat sila nagsimula na mag, like, they really dressed up. Yes. And parang sobrang camp nung mga suot, yes. di ba? Yun ang first concept of drag ko. So yeah. parang, gusto kong gawin yan. Pero kasi hindi ako magaling kumanta. So magli-lip sync na lang ako. Parang pwede ba yun? Pero hindi ko alam na pwede pala siya. Mm -hmm. And um, it wasn't as mainstream yes, before, before as now. Kasi ako rin naman, wala na akong idea mm -hmm. dati. Correct. Until lumipat ako ng Manila College. Um, and then I started working as a producer. Hindi ko pa rin alam kung ano ang drag. Mm -hmm. um, kasi yung circle ko, wala akong masyadong friends na gay or like LGBT mm -hmm. or like queer. Pero sobrang baklang, baklang, bakla talaga ako. So I was producing this uh, parang interstitial show in Lifestyle Network in ABS before when I was working. Tapos, um, mayroon akong na-feature na photographer which happens to be a part of, you know, parang a nightlife scene. Mayroon mm -hmm. siya mga friends na DJs, ganyan. They invited me to a night in Poison Wednesday in Nectar. So doon, doon ako unang nakakita ng, oh my God, may mga nagdadrag. Mm -hmm. Ano to? Sabi ko, oh, what, what's this? Sabi ko, ganun kasi hindi ko alam na drag pala yung tawag ko. So nakita ko siya, sabi ko sa sarili ko, ay hindi ko gagawin yan. Kasi, uh, merong one time, nung high school ako, nag parang teacher's month siya, yung mga teachers ko, sabi nila, uy, magdamit kang pang babae, tapos mag-host ka nung event. So, nag-host ako lang, nag-dumit akong pang babae and everything. Tapos, eh, same kami ng, ng school ng mga kapatid ko. Tapos, pag uwi ko ng bahay, pinagalitan ako ng mom ko and ate ko. Kasi binubuli daw yung brothers ko because mm -hmm. of me dressing up. So sabi ko, oh my god, ayoko mangyari yun. So parang, even yung pagiging effeminate sa, pa sa pananamit, mm. in-strip away ko, kasi parang, even pag may makeup, mm. hindi ko ginagawa kasi ayokong, alam mo yun, maging weapon siya to, to hurt my loved ones. Yeah. Diba? So sabi, nung una kong nakita yung drag, sabi ko, ang ganda, meron pala to, pero hindi ko gagawin yan kasi yeah. ayoko mangyari ulit yun. Yeah, oh my god, ang daming nakaka-relate sa ganyan, di ba? Some things happen in your childhood na yun talaga yung mm -hmm. magpo-pull back sa'yo eh. Parang dati kasi di ba parang yep. pag wala kang idea, parang go lang sa lahat, uh -huh. di ba? I think nung when you were starting then drag, and ako rin, actually wala na ako idea sa drag. Yeah. Si Els nga yung unang <laughs> nagpakita sa akin, na, na, naalala ko na no, no, magkapit bahay kami ni Els before, nanonood sila ng drag race dun sa office ko. Mm -hmm. Tapos nakita ko nanonood sila, sabi ko, ano ba yan? <laughs> Yung lumabas, uh -oh. sabi ko, pangit naman. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> ako yung una ko namang napan nakapanood ng, ng, mm -hmm. ng Drag Race. Lip Sync Battle ni Sasha Velour and Sa Shea Kulay. Ay, iconic. Uh -oh. Alam mo ang sabi ko, pag nila ginagawa yan, ano makukuha nila dyan? <laughs> <laughs> sabi ko talaga, girl! Yeah. So ngayon, di ba? Karma, karma. Uh -oh. <laughs> and it speaks to the power of like yeah. representation on TV. Yeah. Kasi nung unang episode, full episode na pinanood ko, yung Season 9 with Valentina. I fell in love uh, with Valentina, by the way. Sabi ko, oh my God, para siyang America's Next Top Model, pero pang bakla. <laughs> eh, laking America's Next Correct. Top Model Lahat ako. Tayo. Asia's Next Top <laughs> Model, lahat. Correct. Diba? So, sabi ko, oh my God, merong show na para sa amin. Mm -hmm. Diba? Yeah. Um, and then, parang a few months later, dun sa same show na ginawa ko, Drag Queens naman yung picture mm -hmm. ko. Uh, mga drag queens ng Nectar. And dun ko nakita na, ah, hindi lang pala siya, hindi lang pala siya art for other people. Mm -hmm. Parang livelihood din siya. So parang, ah, may, may future sa career na to. Kung ganun. Tapos, a year after, ako na yung nagpa-perform sa Nectar. <laughs> so ganun siya. Sobrang bilis ng mga pangyayari sa akin. Hindi ko in-expect talaga na magiging drag queen ako full time. Kasi before, I was juggling pa. Parang weekdays, I was producer. Mm -hmm. Weekend, tsaka ako magpa-perform as a drag queen. Oh my God, sobrang amazing. And I think, well, if you're meant to be, yeah. as everyone says that to you, mm -hmm. kahit di ba nung season mo nung Drag Race, parang you were meant to be here, blah, blah, blah. Uh -oh. So pala talaga siya. Totoo siya. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya ang bilis. Uh -oh. Actually, kahit wala ng T5 dyan, ito lang sa harap para mag-reflect lang dun sa likod. So 
the runway category for this week is business in the front and party in the back and it's obviously inspired by the filipinos favorite pastime karaoke so we wanted the set to kind of look like kitschy ktv bars also wanted Marina to be shot twice, one in front and one in the back, and stitch them together. So we kind of had to lock the camera. Obviously we had to stitch it together and test it to see if it worked, and this is how we did it. Okay, so take us back to kung paano ka sumali sa Drag Race Philippines hanggang sa kung anong difference yung with being mm-hmm. in Drag Race UK. Okay. Well, just like yung pagpasok ko sa mundo ng drag, yung pagpasok ko sa Drag Race Philippines came at the time na hindi ko siya inexpect. Kasi that year, 2021, I was fully decided na, okay, mag-work muna ako this year. Kasi mm-hmm. last year, isang buong taon ako nag-drag sa bahay. So this time, I work ako. So nasa advertising, and then lumabas yung auditions ng Philippines. De ba before yung mom ko pinagalitan niya kung what dressing up, de ba? Ngayon siya yung nagpush sa akin na sumale uh, oh, sa Drag cute. Race Philippines, kasi I wasn't really gonna audition. Then sabi niya mag-audition ka na malay mo wala ng second season. So and so I did, and she helped me a lot sa mm. sa financing sa fitting kasi ang daming mga designers sa Manila na nagno sa akin kasi gets ko naman kasi hindi naman ako kilala wala pa akong name noon lahat ng mga nagiya sa akin na designers taga Pampanga Bulacan mm. out of Manila so my mom will drive me to these fittings wow. siya yung kasama ko so yeah That's so sweet and, and it naman also yun. happened to mm-hmm. UK versus the world ganun din oh, oh. so Drag Race Philippines para siyang fever dream. <laughs> para siyang hindi nangyari pero nangyari siya. Yun yung unang labas namin after the pandemic. Eh. In a way, sobrang saya namin lahat when we were there na oh my god, para kami nag-reunion and we know each other. But also there's a lot of pressure kasi we didn't have enough. Lahat kami struggling financially, mentally, emotionally lahat na. And also kahit na meron kami, wala kami mabiling mga materials kasi nga Sarados 50% of the shops during that time. Mm. So we really had to make use of all the resources that we have in order to make a good show. And I think we did. Yeah. You know, despite the edit, despite the, the lighting, audio, the <laughs> audio, <laughs> no, the, audio the lighting. <laughs> uh, so I think for me, uh, ang sarap niyang balik balikan yeah. kasi I was having a lot of fun. Uh, but also there was a lot of pressure sa akin lalo na. Because I was the new kid in town, and like no one knows me. And nung sumali ako sa Drag Race Philippines, a few days before kami pumasok for filming, lumabas yung UK versus the World mm. uh, teaser. Sabi ko, yan, yan yung pupuntahan ko. So coming into Drag Race Philippines, I knew hindi yun yung hule. So, alam ko na mayro na kong international. So, lahat ng decision na ginawa ko sa Drag Race Philippines was supposed to make me into this international franchise. Ko sa pagpo-post ng mga social media post ko, even the language that I spoke, lahat. I had to make sure na hindi lang yung Philippine audience yung maka-capture ko, but also the international audience. Kasi, I think my biggest advantage coming into Drag Race Philippines is I knew I was filming a TV show, mm-hmm. not a competition. Yes. Because I know talented ako, alam kung kaya ko lahat ng challenges. It's just a matter of making good TV, and that's what I did. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. Alam mo, if you watch the music series, yun talaga common yun sa lahat ng successful people. Kila may vision kay. Yeah. The yung foresight and vision that's so important. Because mm-hmm. Hindi pwedeng sometimes syempre meron namang pure luck lang talaga. Yep. But iba talaga kapag mm-hmm. you come prepared, you're yes. ready, have a distinct point of yes. view. Iba talaga yung effect niya sa mga people na nanonood sa iyo. Mm-hmm. 
I don't really believe na, oh my God, thank you po, hindi ko inexpect to. <laughs> hindi ako naniniwal. Ako personally, uh-uh. I don't like that feeling. Yeah. Ayoko nung hindi ko siya inexpect. Kasi ibig sabihin, it was pure luck. Mm-hmm. Mas masarap yung feeling na, inexpect ko yan, pinagtrabahuhan ko yan, kaya alam kong dadating siya sa akin. Boom! Charot! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kaya I mean, siya pa sa ating mga uh-huh. Filipinos, di ba? Yeah. Parang, very typical na, oh, wag masyadong malaki mag-isip. Correct. Huwag masyadong uh-huh. assuming, huwag masyadong mayabang, malaki, mayabang uh-huh. malaki ang ulo. Yeah. Pero, what if I'm meant for bigger things talaga? Yeah. And itong bigger things na to, it wasn't given to me on a silver platter. I had to work hard for it. And now, <laughs> The whole Philippines and the whole world Aww. is so proud of Aww, you. My God, ilang episodes pala. Correct. Sabog na sabog. <laughs> yes. So, having said all of that, parang dito naman sa UK versus the world, ano naman yung strategy mo coming into this? Mm-hmm. Um, well, as this lone Filipina mm-hmm. warrior that I am coming into this competition, I always believe in strong branding and strong imaging. And kasi drag in itself, yun yung una mo makita visual. Mm-hmm. So, I wanted to make sure na kailangan sobrang strong ng image ni Marina. I wanted to make sure na la- sobrang how do I say it? holistic yeah. ng approach Buo. ko, yeah. buo yung mm-hmm. drag ko as a package. Mm-hmm. Kasi nung Drag Race Philippines, I was able to do that. Mm-hmm. Marina being the bombshell queen, sobrang strong ng brand eh, Very clear. Yeah. Very clear. Dito naman sa UK versus the world, I had to find deep within my core ano ba yung distinct Mm-hmm. Kay Marina this time. In pagiging Filipino, yun yung biggest weapon ko. Well, so I had to use that. Yeah. I had to use that. And yun yung bagay na alam ko. Yes. So hindi ako lalayo, de ba? Um, and it's the first time a Filipina is representing the Philippines, de ba? Like the country itself yeah. in front of RuPaul, in front of the international audience. So I had to make sure na sabi ng ni Katrina. I come here not, not as one, one but a hundred and four million Filipinos. <laughs> Very that. There's always someone with the drag race fandom, oh, naman, diba? Drag race fandom. Medyo, medyo passionate, passionate sila. Passionate. Very very. Medyo passionate. extreme sila magcomment. Uh, extreme yung emotions nila. Correct. Towards correct. your drag. So how is uh, it this this time around? Uh, ha. Huh. Ngayon mas vocal sila. Okay. Kasi nung drag race Philippines, the whole country was. Behind you, eh. Mm. Pinagtatanggol pa nga nila kami sa inyo, eh. Correct. Sa mga correct. judges, uh-huh. di ba? Correct. Pinagtatanggol kami sa judges. Pero this time, parang kang isang pinakawalan sa ocean, tapos bahala ka na sa buhay mo. Mm-hmm. Parang, um... On brand pa din. Oh, <laughs> isa pa rin. Ito siya, habang, <laughs> habang tinitignan ko siya. Um, isa sa mga pinaka-evident na nakita namin na difference ngayon is that some Filipinos, ayaw nila yung pagiging patriotic ko, pagiging mm-hmm. nationalistic ko. Parang everything is about Philippines. Mm-hmm. Parang, pwede bang iba naman? Pwedeng sana medyo westernized para mag-gets ng international audience. But mm-hmm. the flip side of that is, yung international audience, nag-gets naman nila. Mm-hmm. Diba? And, yeah. kasi it's something that they haven't seen before. Even yung dugo nga, diba? Parang mm-hmm. for me, I had the most fun doing that mm-hmm. uh, runway. Pero sana, sana Ursula or something na mag-gets nila. Pero, If I do that every week, para mawawala naman yung identity ko na pagiging Filipino. Correct. Diba? I don't think kailangan mag-adjust. Exactly. Yeah. To to cater to a specifically international audience. Mm-hmm. What's amazing about what you did is that you're doing Filipino things, but it transcends the yeah. yung kung ano man yung maiintindihan nila. Mm-hmm. But they're drawn to it, de ba? Yeah. Kasi and, hindi sila. Wala naman silang tinanong eh, yeah. de ba? And that's also a testament to your vision. Yes. Kasi parang na turn mo yung something very Filipino. It's something, something universal. It's something universal that, that very palatable sa kanila. Yes. Na, at hindi lang palatable sa kanila, they love it. They love diba? it, yeah. So, I'm happy na yung drag ko was able to speak for my vision. And so, there's nothing wrong with that. Correct, diba? yeah. So, yun nga, ano, we may speak different languages, but Marina Summers is universal. <laughs> universal. <laughs> And for this last day out, which is a last minute addition to this shoot because we wanted to do something fun. We were inspired by, of course, Marina's like, pop star persona. Go, go, go. We wanted to make it Y2K, like Christina Aguilar, Spears. Ka ostyo ni sa 
Jesus, Hera, Hermes, Icarus, Na, Na, Narcissus, Medusa, Epasos, Asha, La, 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 Susus, Minerva, Ecobibus, I love it when you kiss this. Aphrodite, Ventus, Chaos, Dionysus, Hera, Hermes, Icarus, Na, Na, Narcissus, Medusa, Epasos, Asha, La, 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 Susus, Minerva, Ecobibus, I love it when you kiss this. Okay, so that's... The third layout, my God. Natuwa ka ba sa shoot natin today? Uh, <laughs> it's always fun shooting with BJ. Kagaya ng ano sabi ko kanina, makikita mo, ay, bakla yung gumawa nito. Yeah. And, and I think, yun din yung kinocultivate mo kasi na, mm. na environment. Mm. And I love that. Na kahit na sino yung katrabaho mo, yung pagiging queer creative is at the top of the... Yeah. The line talaga. Ang top audience talaga natin, yung kinakater dito, is the gays. Charo, yeah. the queers. <laughs> yeah. Sila talaga, kailangan, kailangan matutuwa sila. Yun yung mm -hmm. goal ng bawat shoot. Correct. And we, we want, <laughs> kasi to spark passion din, di ba? Yeah. Parang, kaya thank you for, for doing this. I'm sure maraming gagayan itong shoot. Sa kaya sila magpo-post sa ilalim ng tubig. Correct. <laughs> well, but thank you then. Uh -huh. Thank you for granting one of my dreams. Ako, nako, deserve na deserve na ako. Oh, oh. If there's anyone, oh, nako, ikaw talaga you. yun. Thank you. Sabi ko nga eh, parang as of recently, I feel like I'm living the ultimate Filipino gay life. <laughs> Lahat from wearing Andrada, uh, uh. wearing Maktumang, hmm. mag-runway, oh, oh, mag-shoot ni BJ Pascual, <laughs> mag-musings. Grabe, sobrang sarap sa feeling na maging bakla ngayon. The Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> and you so, earned it. My oh, God, grabe, you. sobrang deserved. I've never seen a more hardworking and a fully realized queen. Thank you. Especially seeing your growth from season one. Na parang feeling Which ko, is not a lot of centimeters. When you came in the competition, like, feeling ko fully realized ka na agad eh. Wala lang budget. Wala, oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Pero even without the budget yeah. and resources, kasi kahit nung pandemic nung simula, mm. you came in so strong talaga mm. sa Drag Race. And now, parang you came out even stronger. Oh, thank Kalo. you. <laughs> thank you. Parang unstoppable ka na yes. talaga. <laughs> Powered by the gays. Correct. <laughs> and I cannot wait to see what's next. And ano nga ba? What's oh, next? Ano nga ba? Um... <laughs> I will be jumping on an international tour, mm. Canada, US, UK, for the next, I don't know, three months. And mm. I'm, I'm really, really happy and blessed na dream ko kasi talagang mag-perform around the world. And now that I get to do that, I hope maraming ma-inspire na Filipino queer artists, mm. Filipino drag queens, na it's possible for us. Pwede siyang mangyari. Yeah. And I am really honored mm. to be, you know, be a, parang a beacon of hope mm -hmm. in a way an image of hope and inspiration um, not only to young queer kids but queer artists our age mm -hmm. diba? Na, it's not too late yeah kaya pa kaya Actually, ako gusto kitang makita sa Vegas show ng oh! Drag Race Sana, nakikita no? ko na talaga siya as in like Nung sinabi parang nila na mag reverse story, kasi ko, oh my god, sure, after niyan mag the <laughs> Vegas si Marina, but I cannot wait for that. Yeah, I'm really happy uh -oh. kasi ngayon, hindi na siya malayong maabot. Mm -hmm. Kasi I will be doing a cast tour, uh, parang Work the World tour, mm -hmm. with the UK vs. the World cast, with Voss events. Mm -hmm. And I feel like yung dream, actually dream ko rin mag Vegas <laughs> live. Um, yung dream na yon is, you know, at the reach of my fingertips na. Oh, so, oh, oh. Sobrang lapit na niya, konting trabaho pa. Kailangan ko lang, I need to show up, show yeah. them na I'm suit for the job. Yeah. So I would, yeah. Pasok yan, my Pasok God. Yan. I'm so excited. Pupunta akong Vegas Manifest for that. Yan. Oh, oh. Manifest natin Universe, <laughs> take this in. <laughs> so ayun, please like and subscribe. Tama sa <laughs> Tama, channel. Tama, correct. Dito, somewhere there. Saka comment lang kayo dyan yung mga comment. favorite nyo today. Yes. Kung ano yung nagustahan nyo. And if you want to recreate anything, tag nyo lang kami. Tag nyo kami, we will repost it. Yes. Uh -oh. um, and you can also find me on social media at Marina X Summers on all platforms. Verified, thank you. <laughs> um, you can also stream my music on Spotify. I have a few, um, especially my new single which was out last week born to do drag because we are what born to do drag baby and you can still watch the remaining episodes of uk versus the world season two on what percent plus across the globe and in uk iplayer bbc3 and in canada crave plus i love it <laughs> <laughs> So that's it for today's episode of Musings with the one and only Marina Summer. The Filipina Muse. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
Marina Muse. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed as much as we did making this episode. So till the next time, you take care. You take care, ha. Ikaw, you take care, ha. Ikaw din, you take care. You take care of me, ha. Tapos inaruga mo akong ganyan. Ganyan mag-take care. Ganyan. Si Impro. Ikaw nga. Ganyan mag-impro. Galing niya, oh. Well, that's it for us on Musings episode 17. And just like me, it's a wrap! Ang sharep sharep! Yes! Sabi, it's a wrap lang, pero nag-spill. So guys, welcome back to another episode of Musings. We have our guest photographer here, BJ Pascual. Thank you so much for having me. Of course, uh, we would like to, you know, give platform to <laughs> young photographers like you. Exposure, ba? Exposure. <laughs> young. I love it. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. The subtitles, pala ako nito. Do you want me to do an English accent for you? The parang kaya yung ano yung clip na yon. Nagbaklaan tayo, lagatay. Hindi yan yung vlog format mo. Oo. Medyo na. Bago mo retouch. Ang dami ka. Ano na pala yun yung intro sa alam? Oo nga. Bago. And of course, we have our favorite in the channel. Na naman. The brand. Favorite ko na lahat. Lahat favorite? And, and. Teka lang, hirap tumawa. Go. Sobrang uploaded and. Winner naman yung mga... Sama niyo yan. Alam mo yan, Marina. Alam mo yan, Marina. Ngayon nga, actually, yung script nila may ano na, subtitles na. May English na, sa ilalim. Kasi yung season namin, parang ginugal translate lang nila. Ang totoo ba? Yun ang ginagawa ko sa akin. Inalaro ko talaga sila. O kaya, um... Do you have anything to propose? Any material things? So, you use the background of the producer background here. Yes. What else do you think? Why are you going to look at it? Yes. Wait, wait. Okay. You can join me. It's a bounce. It's a bounce. Sorry, it's a bounce. Thank you. Correct.